Fishnet, the new and improved chorus of old. I make or break a reputation. The mind of man cannot unravel the mystery of how I travel, the speed of which I cover ground. In other words, I get around. I show up in the strangest places, from barbershop to taxi cab, wherever people stop to gab. I'm there in all my many faces. An active lady for my age. My favorite spot is center stage. They say I'm blind, or at least myopic, haphazard, moody, prone to change, bored with all but the latest topic, enamored with the new and strange, spouting credos with a passion for as long as they're in fashion, shallow, vicious. Thanks a lot. I see you asking, though. So what? To oversee this panorama, I plan to play a crucial part in this play about to start, to do no less than mold the drama. <laughs> Are for 
for the sun. Look, let's just be honest. I have my lover, and you have yours. Oh, how repulsively modern of you. Ah, uh, <laughs> my sweet, old-fashioned hubby. I so hate you! I thought I was marrying an artist, but instead I find myself changed to the most pompous, conceited, <coughs> self-centered, <laughs> the most boring man in all creation. You think you're a genius because you invented I am the contaminator? Well, I think that it sucks, it sucks so bad. You're just so stupid. I'm bored with your fiddle. Go, play for your third-rate shepherdess. I'm sure she'd be happy to rose in your bowl. As for me, Aristeas here knows how to treat an imp like me. <laughs>
your places for eternity. My dear, I fear that you're beyond repair. Stop! Let's just get a divorce in prose. Nothing will please me more, but I have a reputation to maintain. Public opinion can be a brute. Wait, is she here? Oh, thank the gods. No, I'll have to deal with your love. You're gonna hit him with your fiddle? That's not a... <laughs> No, my dear. I'm far too clever to engage in confrontation. But Nature Boy may have a fatal surprise on the way home. What did you do? <laughs> I'd love to tell you, but I have a student waiting. Farewell, my dear. What did that ass do? Set a trap for my lover? I'd better go meet Aristeus and stop him before he gets hurt. Ah, 
father's handwriting. Dear husband, here's to let you know, my shepherd was in fact Pluto. With him I leave this earthly life in haste, your liberated wife. Good God! That's bad poetry. <laughs> says so herself. My prayer has been answered. I'm free!
It's the public's duty to look out for his daughter's reputation. And it was clear that yours was mysteriously torn from by. <laughs> I changed him into a stag to save your reputation. I have sent out press release giving you full credit, outraged his bold pursuit, his shocking audacity, and his own record of the basis, etc., etc. But it wasn't! It wasn't! The heart lies to enrich the pages of mythology. We have to preserve the image. We are divinities, not just anybody. We must not disappoint the public. They lose interest in us, and then we are nothing. A fine one to talk. Wise Minerva, has some new escapade of my husband's come to light? No, no, Juno. Let's not jump to conclusion. Gossip, pure and simple gossip. The calumnies are always out to discredit me. Anything for a story. Fake news. <laughs> Now, oh, sweetheart, please, don't make a scene, not here in public. A few serious head matters have come to my attention. Much! Yes, sir! <laughs> you are aware that lovely Venus here is a mad woman with her family. Her husband, the freak and child. That is absurd. Absurd, I tell you. Absolutely and truly hurtful. I deny everything. Bravo! Well done. That's exactly the point I'm trying to get across. It's uh, our duty to the public. They love hard fake denial. But hereafter, a little restraint, please. What a hypocrite. <laughs> Daddy. Pure Pete. I've been hearing most disturbing reports about your recent behavior. Staying out all hours, shooting at random, Telling a mischief and letting the umbrella burn. Child, unless you shape up, I shall have to take away your flying privileges. But, Daddy, why did you give me wings if I'm not to use them? Young man, I gave you wings so that you could get home on time. And let's see that you do so. Mom, I never get to have any fun. But, Rex, darling, that is being possible. Frankly, I find this atmosphere insufferable. Where is the intellectual stimulation I require? These relentless blue skies. What I need is a little drink. Bacchus, just because you created wine, you are under no obligation to consume it all yourself. I created logic, but you'd never catch me using it. I have an idea, Aunt Minnie. We can go on strike. Kostroy, Mars, Minerva, you two darling, follow me. Venus has mischief of her sleeve. This ought to liven things up a little. My dear, I heard on good authority that immortal girl, lovely as a goddess, or so they say, has been kidnapped by an unidentified god. The girl's name is Eurydice. The god's name, may I say it? Honey, there you go again, always thinking the worst. Where will your blind jealousy lead you? How could you think for a minute that I would abuse my power by committing such a crime? <laughs> I can prepare a list. I approve my fidelity as a husband by my zeal in punishing the escapades of others. I am determined to get to the bottom of this and already have sent Mercury, my faithful messenger, to bring back the facts. You are a hypocrite. And if I am not mistaken, those are his wings I hear flapping through the ether this very minute. <laughs> Je crois que mon
with my life course. Stay and listen. Stay and listen.
Not a soul for company except for my half-wit jailer, John Styx. Some honeymoon. Pluto, you don't know what boredom can do to a woman like me. She is so pretty. Back again! What do you want? Didn't you ring? So pretty. I did not ring, nor would I ever ring for you. You creep me out. You look down on me because I am a servant, because I am Pluto's butler. My station has not always been so lonely. On earth, I was king of Boeotia. <laughs> Remember, 
you with something more tactile and tiny. All right, you take the stiff back to the party, and I'll see how you do about that nymph. You always were my favorite. Come, Mr. Pink.
My real name is Jupiter, king of the gods. Who adores you? Mighty Jupiter. Just call me Job. <laughs> Had we met soon, Pluto would never have carried you off this morbid environment. You would be with me, O Mount Olympus. Mount Olympus? It is not too late to avoid suspicion. I shall return to the party that Pluto is giving in my honor. Why I keep John Sticks distracted, you sleep away. I'll have rest ready for you. When everyone's sleeping, I whisk you away in the cush. And you are still man. In half an hour. Oh, I am the happiest for the life.
think I have not been seen what's been going on? Do you expect to carry her off to Olympus? Ah, uh, who is to stop me? Why, you yourself. And her husband, now on his way. My husband? Ugh, I forgot all about him. It happens sometimes. <laughs> and have you also forgot your promise to him? You shall not go with you. Not with me, but with him, the music man. I did promise that, didn't I? I stop! Stupid! Things are coming to a head. I'm switching to verse. Brace yourselves! Oh, <laughs> 